with bold and vivid strokes, Norval Morisot put his native culture on canvas and into the spotlight of international acclaim. Morisot is the subject of tonight's national scene. And as the CBC's Sandra Abmar explains, he is now the recipient of a special honor that some consider long overdue. It's really good. I'm astounded. I think that's the only word to describe it. I'm only here for one purpose, to channel. He's been called a genius, a shaman, a grand master of ecstasy. Which is not in words. Norval Morisot burst onto the Canadian art scene in the 60s with a unique visual style that would influence generations of First Nations artists. Today, the legendary Ojibwe artist is having his day at the National Gallery in Ottawa. Morisot has Parkinson's disease. He no longer paints and has trouble speaking. Now he lets his paintings speak for him. Norville Morisot has lived a very troubled life. He was homeless on the streets of Vancouver, an alcoholic. At one time, he asked to be paid for his paintings in cocaine. Today, he is the first native Canadian artist to be honored with a retrospective at the National Gallery of Canada. Morisot's powerful evocations of his people's legends are celebrated throughout the world. Why then has it taken so long for Canada's National Gallery to pay homage? Curator Greg Hill says traditionally works by Aboriginal artists are seen in museums, not galleries. It's uh, considered as an artifact rather than as art. So we find you know, the visual traditions of Aboriginal peoples in museums. Hill says Morisot helped change that perception. Few artists in the world can lay claim to creating a completely unique style of art. And Norval Morisot has done that. And he's shared that with Canada through his exhibitions at galleries and internationally. Morisot met up with Gabe Battis when they were both homeless on the streets of Vancouver almost 20 years ago. Today, Vadis considers himself Morisot's adopted son and spokesperson. And we want to get this art out there to show people. So to be the greatest shaman is to, to lift this art to where it really belongs, which is with the greatest masters in the world. Michelangelo, Da Vinci, Norval Morisot. And now in the National Gallery of Canada, Moroso takes his place. It's about time. He's maybe known all over the world, but yet I think a lot of younger Aboriginal people are going to see him even more. And for First Nations people, a gift to the world. I think this is the most fantastic show the gallery has ever offered. Sandra Abma, CBC News, Ottawa. Suzanne takes you down. Toute la nuit.